he humbled himself. The brother came and said, um, he called them good. Christ said, ah, oh, there's only one good. That's my father. That's God. Come on. But if thou wilt enter into life. But I'm asking you a question. But if you want to enter into life, if you want to enter into the kingdom, keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. How do we get to that kingdom? By doing what, sis? Keeping the commandments. Now let's see who's going to be in that kingdom. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Moses prophesied the curses. He offers. He also prophesied the blessings. It's a coin. You see, we once ruled, sis. You heard of Moors. You heard of these these names. Certain people know our history. We once ruled King Solomon, King David. We ruled the whole earth. The, the nations feared us. It's gonna happen again. We just been brought down for a punishment. All right. Now watch this. Moses prophesied about the kingdom. I'm going to show you from the Old and New Testament. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass. Read that again. And it shall come to pass. When you hear that word shall. And it shall. What does that mean? Something that's going to what? Happen. Right. There you go. You're getting this. Right. You're getting it. That's what we are here to do. To show you the past, present, and future. Right. right. That's it. We didn't learn about Moses and all. Nothing. I grew up the same way. Right. We all did. Right. We. Right. It's so hard to try to get that white man out of your head. He's like in your head. But you know what? But you know what? You start got to start doing. Since you got to start keeping the commandments. Right. But I want to uplift your. No, I, I, I'm, I'm a, okay. But let me go through this first, sis. And we are gonna hear it from the Bible. Right. And look. In our in our in our minds, we have to say, I I think I know, but I may not. We can't be afraid to be humble, humble ourselves to the word. If we do not humble ourselves to the word, it's destruction coming to you. It's death coming to you. So just stay with me. I'm gonna get the commandments. But right now I'm trying to uplift your spirit to show you that Moses prophesied it ain't gonna always be like this. Right. But it's something you have to do. It's something we have to do. Right. Read it again. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now you heard that word, is God into forcing? I want you to read it again. If thou shalt hearken diligently. You see, if thou shalt hearken, mean listen. Read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The voice of the Lord thy God. What is, the, what is God's voice saying? People always say they hear God, but why God never told you to do this right here? This is his voice. Come on. To observe and to do. All his commandments. Why God never whispered in your ear and told you to do the commandments? Right. Right. It's, it's, it's stop the lies. We got to stop thinking we know and humble ourselves to the word. Right. None of us knew. Right. It was right. a curse. God left a remnant. So a handful, some people knew to be able to teach it. He prophesied he would leave a remnant, a small number of people just to teach it. That's the mercy of God. It was prophesied we wouldn't know. But it's also prophesied you would. Right. So we, we, we shouldn't fight it. Read it again. To observe and to do all his commandments. Read the whole thing over again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. This what? This day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Above all nations of the earth. Read it again. Read Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Listen up, sis. Don't let this pass by you. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. It and up? it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass your future. Come on. If thou shalt hearken diligently. Uh, hearken means what? Listen. Come on. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do. To what? To do. To what? To do. To do. Right. You got to do it. Right. If you do it, what are you going to receive? Come on. All his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God, who? The Lord. The Lord thy God will set thee. He going to do what? Set thee on high. He yes, going to set us right. on what? On high. Yes, above right. all nations. Who? All nations. You going to be above all nations. Yes. 
It's simple. You're going to rule, sis. I know we went not taught there, but you're getting it taught now. Don't feel bad. I didn't know. I didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. Nobody knew we went right. through the prophecies. Right. We can't change the Lord's will. All you can do is get behind the train. Right. Get behind the train, sis. Now that, now that you know that the kingdom is coming to you, in the Bible, it speaks about that. Let me prove it to you in the New Testament. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2. So nobody won't run up to you. And don't say that in the New Testament. These blind pastors, they got a judgment coming to them if they don't repent. Right. If they don't repent, they got a judgment coming to them. Right. It says it in the New Testament. Come on. The book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 26. And he that overcome and keep my works until the end to him. Where I give power over the nation. You see that? That's how we know Moses. It was speaking about a prophecy. Because John the Revelator is talking about what? The prophecies. Right, right. They saying the same thing. All the prophets saying the same thing. We just was never taught it. So, how do you get to the kingdom? By doing what? By doing what, sis? We repeated it multiple times. Too many times. What did he say keep? What did he say do? His commandments. You know God. He gonna, he gonna, he just, he gonna say it a million times. Hey, did I write the Bible? He's saying it all the time. Every time we turn to it, he's talking about the commandments. That's his focus. Because watch this, Revelation chapter 2. You know why. Okay. What is a liar called? What, what, what is... What is another name for uh, the devil? Hey, what? What's another name for him? That's fine. I didn't need it. Another name for the devil is a deceiver. Right. Who you think Satan working with? Jeez. God said back, watch this. I'm going to show you the book of Job. Remember who brought these things upon us. It was God, right? Right. He's allowing Satan to control these people. It's wow. punishment. He's using them as a belt. When your kids act up, you got a belt. You people don't put them on punishments. Right. He's using them as whipping sticks. Right. They're punishments. I'm going I'm to show you this. You got what I want? I say, no. yeah. Uh huh. This is the book of Job, chapter 1 and verse 6. Read it up. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. So there was a day when the sons of God presented themselves before whom? The Lord and Satan came also among them. What happened to me? Right. Satan called, came also among them. Who made Satan? The same Jesus. person who made us. Right. Right. See, see, that's what we've been taught. You think right. God and Satan are, are going against each other. Oh. That's what we've been taught. I'm showing you that ain't it. Right. Come on, let's read it again. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Which comest thou? He said unto Satan, Where comest thou? Where you coming from? Right. Who made him? Who he working for? See, we got to get this, this nonsense in our head that they're going against each other one-on-one -on -one, like they're playing a pickup basketball game. Right. Who's in charge of killing? Who's in charge of bringing a lie? Do the run, finish that out and get do the run at 32 and 39. I'm showing you. Come on. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to he answer who? the Lord. If, if they were going against each other, why, is he, why does he have to answer the Lord? Right. Why does he have to win? When God speak, why does he have to answer the Lord? Why? Come on. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro. So I've been on my job, Lord. I've been going to and fro where? Where has Satan been going to and fro? He been going from here. He been going to here. He been going from here. Watch this. In the earth. In the world. In the earth. In the world. In the earth. Satan being people. He's dealing with the other nations. Right. Somebody had to do the evil. Right. Remember, God don't do evil. He allows it. I'm going right. to show you that. Come on. And from walking up and down in it. Uh -huh. 
And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? Don't play with God. He's sitting up there saying, Hey, have you considered my servant Job? He knows Satan's job. He made him. He said, Look, why haven't you tried? Have you considered trying my servant Job? Have you considered testing my servant Job? All of us has to be tested. Right. We have to be tested. That's what makes him just. Right. You're not going to be able to go to the kingdom and be like, well, God just let me in. He tested you. Right. He's going to rewind and then say, look, you did this. You broke this commandment. You broke this commandment. You broke this law. You broke this law. You broke this law. You broke this commandment. You broke this law. You're going to be judged by the laws. How do you think you're going to be judged? How people like to say, only God can judge me. What you think he's going to judge you on? Right. A law. Right. Read it again. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man? A perfect and an upright man, meaning a man that keep God's laws. Right. Don't believe people when they, when, when, they, when they say you can't be perfect. According to the Bible, to be perfect is keeping the commandments. Right. Right. Psalms 19 and 7. I'm going to show you that. Job walked upright he walked perfect what does perfect mean according to the bible not the world's definition the bible come on the book of psalm chapter 19 and verse 7 the law of the lord is perfect what's perfect the law of the lord is perfect the law he keeps right. repeating it right. god said my laws are perfect what right. do they do for you converting the soul. What do we call those cars? Convertibles. What right. do that convertible mean? Change. It changes our souls. Right. We don't want, no longer want to roll up and smoke and get high. We no longer want to disobey the Bible. Everything the Bible say we do. We don't have a problem with it. We do. It changed our spirits. Right. right. You have to lean on God's laws. Yes, now go right. back to where we was at. Go, now give me Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Was that it on that? Oh, uh, yes, sir. 30, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Right. Who's controlling all this? And also give me the one that the devil's tremble. Is it in James? Even the devil's, even uh, the devil's tremble in the book of James. Find that for me while he read this. Okay. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39. You know? See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill. Who kill? I kill. Who kill? I kill. You see all this killing going on around here. Who you think sitting on the throne letting it happen? He's telling you. God controls all. There ain't no God versus Satan. No. Read it again. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make a lie. He born, when you born into the earth, he does that. He allows right. that. He controls it all. Come on. I woo. He harms you. He woos you. You, you see that the AIDS and the HIV that affected our people who sat back and allowed that happen. Right. Why? Why? We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to ask why to ourselves. Not keeping the commandments. Right. right. He will bring curses on those chosen people. Right. If look, if we ain't right, this earth ain't gonna never be right. 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 You was made to rule it. That's why the sun don't do nothing to you. Right. But the sun affects the other people. That's, a, that's just basic stuff. But we can prove out the Bible that this world belongs to us. Right. Read this again. So see now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. I kill Come on. and I make alive. I wound Come on. and I heal. Come on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. When yes. God set the prophecy to the judgment, it was nothing we can do. Right. right. We went through slavery, did we not? It's in the Bible. Right. So if that part happens, he said that that nation gonna also rule again. Right. That has to happen too. Right. That's the good news. That's the blessings. Right. That's for Israel. Right. So give me that in James. Watch this. The book of James, chapter two and verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God. Read that again. Thou believest that there is one God. Come on. Thou does it well. You do well. Why? The devils also believe and tremble. They do what? They also believe and tremble. They do what? The devils 
also believe and tremble. Exodus 15 and 3. I'm going to show you why they tremble. That's why we got to quit. Out. You got to quit acting like you want your, your black man and your Hispanic man to be weak. We was made in God's image. We ain't come out here scared of nobody. We're going to teach the truth That's according right. to the Bible. Right. And the women got to follow. Y'all got to follow, right. sis. Right. You're going to be laid up doing nothing in the kingdom. Why wouldn't you want to follow kings? Right. I don't understand right. it. Watch this read. The book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. Even the devils tremble. They scared of them. Come on. The Lord is a man of war. No, he a woman. The man of war. No, God a woman. A man of war. Come on. The Lord is his name. You see that? He's a man of war. He ain't playing with nobody. That's what we got to understand. Now. I'll explain all that to show you that there's no verses between those two. Right. So I hope y'all understand that now. I'm going to get you how to get to the kingdom. Remember, we, we went over how we get there. All right, now, I'm going to ask you this. Do you love God? John 14 and 15. From John 14 and 15. First John 4 and 1 before that. You say you love God. Now I'm going to show you what I'm commanded to do. We ain't out here to pick. We out here to do what God tell us to do. I'm going to show you what God told me to do. Come on. The book of 1 John, chapter 4 and verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So God commanded us not to believe every spirit. When one says, do they love God? We was commanded not to believe them. Right. Because it's an action that comes with it. That's Watch right. this. But try the spirit. Do what? Try the spirit. Try the spirit. How do you try spirit? It's a test. You say you love God, right? I'm going to show you how to love God, and that's going to be your test afterward. The next time I see you, we're going to see did you love God or not. You see that? It ain't nothing hard. We ain't, God ain't asking nobody to do nothing hard. Watch this. Read that again. But try the spirit, whether they are of God, because Many false prophets are going out into the world. So we're supposed to try the spirits. Now give me John 14 and 15. It's today is your day. Okay, but watch this. I'm finna show you how to try the spirit. You say you love God. Watch this. John 14 and 15. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me. Who is speaking? Those letters are in what color? Red. Who's speaking? That's Christ. Right. The colors are in red. red. Uh-huh. So who's speaking? Read that again. If ye love me. Christ is speaking. If you love me, he's speaking plain. Come on. Keep my commandments. What did he say, dude? Keep my commandments. I did not write it, sis. Christ said, if you love him, you will keep his commandments. Can you give Christ a hug? Yes, I can. No, you cannot. No, oh, you said, can I give Christ a hug? Yeah, can no. you give Christ a hug? Can I give him some doubt? You can, no. I can't give him no doubt. No. So how do I love him? Read it again. If ye love me, keep my commandment. I'm going to try the spirit. I'm going to give you a commandment. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Stay with me. Don't, 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 don't go, don't, don't get it in your, your feelings. Oh, look, we got to humble ourselves to what? This word. Right. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So the woman should not wear that which pertains unto the man. So the man, the woman should have on men's clothing. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So if I came up in here, came up here and taught you in a dress, would you pay me any attention? All right. So who wear dresses? You wouldn't pay me any attention if I wore a dress. Now, if you came up here, God said that you said that you wouldn't pay me any attention if I wore a dress. Who wear the dresses? Which gender wear dresses? Gender. The ladies, the women, right? right. They, they even have it on the restrooms. The women wear dresses, right? right? So, you wouldn't pay no attention to me if I didn't wear a dress. Why would I pay any attention to you when you having pants on? Right. Uh-oh. Uh, see, that, 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 she, she, she said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's just a question. I'm going to give you the edification at the Bible. But it's just a question. I'm just trying to what? Put a, get your mind to roll. 
The women wear dresses on, on our on your wedding days. What do you have on? A dress. Why do you not want to be a princess every day? Right, you know right. that's your special day. That's why you put on a dress. Right. But you know where you got the pants from? From your oppressor. Right. They put the pants on. And you start following it. Right. Read the Bible again. I'm trying your spirit. Not well, what are we supposed to do? I'm going to show you that you're supposed to repent from it. Stop doing it. Right. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. So what did the men have on in the Bible? Exodus 28. I'm going to show you what the men had on. In order for you to know what the women wore, you got to know what the men wore. Then you know what the women wore. It ain't, it ain't nothing hard. We just ain't been taught. That's it. That's it. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 28 and verse 41. Jeez. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron, thy brother. And Aaron, uh, what? Thy brother! Aaron is a what? Right, what gender is he? Gender. Aaron is gender. What gender is Aaron? If he's somebody's brother, what gender is he? Is he a man or a woman? He a man. I'm just trying to see you with me. Come on. And his sons with him. Read that again. And his sons. No, no, read the top. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron, thy brother, and his sons. Is his sons boys or girls? It's boys. Come on. And shall anoint them and concentrate and consecrate them and sanctify them that they might minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. You gonna make them what? Linen breeches. You gonna make them what? Linen breeches. What did grandma used to say? Boy, pull your what up. Ah, your britches. Ah. You said back then you wore pants? The women wore pants. I'm showing you that only the men wore pants. Right. This Bible don't say nothing about no woman wearing no pants. Back then, we were wearing pants. Back then. We was young. We was young. Sis, are you talking about back then, your foremothers, or are you talking about you when you was little? Yeah, you didn't know no better. We teaching you right now to stop doing it. That's fine, sis. I'm not trying to. I used to do a lot of things. You see, you see these markings on me. I had to quit doing it. Right. We ain't out here to beat up on our people to show them. We know we doing wrong. We out here to show from the Bible to quit doing it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.